Number 13. How do molecules of elements and molecules of compounds differ? And in what ways are they similar? Okay, so I always think that it's easier to do the similarities first, and then we can talk about the differences. So I'm going to put the similarities right here. Similarities. Okay. So we got similarities between elements and compounds. And specifically, they said molecules of elements and molecules of compounds. So there's one of the similarities right there. The similarities is that they are both molecules. But now we just got to figure out, well, what is a molecule? A molecule is just more than one um we'll say more than one element i think that's a good description combined in a substance and you know what i'm going to actually make this a little bit better i'm going to erase the word element and i'm going to say atom that would be better correct or more correct. So more than one atom combined in a substance. So what does that mean? So let's think of a molecule of an element. Now remember, an element is just any box here on the periodic table. So for example, just nitrogen would be an element. Oxygen would be an element. Fluorine would be an element. So if you have a molecule of elements, it just has to be more than one of that element, that atom. So it can't just be N, it would have to be N2. It couldn't just be oxygen, O, it has to be O2. It couldn't just be F, it has to be F2. Now the twos aren't standard. I just want to show you that you have to have more than one atom. The individual atom would be one single nitrogen or one single oxygen or one single F. Molecules, you need to have more than one. So if we talked about sulfur, just writing S like this would be one atom. If I add more to them, so let's just pretend that this one is S8, that would be a molecule. And the same thing for a molecule of a compound. So for example, molecule of compound these you will have more than one atom in any molecule of any compound because you have more than one element in them so compound remember is just the combination of two or more elements so NaCl or H2O or C6H12O6 these have definitely more than one atom. In this one, NaCl, there's two atoms here. So I'm just going to put the two here because there's one Na and one Cl. In H2O, there's three total atoms, two hydrogens and one oxygen. And then C6H12O6, if you add 6 plus 12 plus 6, you get 24 different atoms. So that's a similarity. They will have more than one atom in their molecules, no matter if you're talking about a molecule of an element or a molecule of a compound. But now let's talk about what the differences are. So I'm just going to squeeze the differences over here. So how do they dif differ from each other or differ from each other? So if we look at the molecule of an element, so the S8, the N2, the O2 versus the molecule of the compound, the NaCl, the H2O. What looks different here? Oh, in here, for the elements, the atoms are the same. Versus, for compounds, the atoms are different. And there you go with your differences. So, just to recap, your similarities is that for both molecules of elements versus molecules of compounds, they just have to have more than one atom in the substance. 
The difference is, however, is that for your elements, you will have the same atom, whether it's eight sulfurs, two nitrogens, or two oxygens. For compounds, they're going to be different. One sodium, one chlorine here, two hydrogens, two oxygens here. That's how they differ. All right, guys, hope this helped you out. Uh, if it did, you know, please uh, help us out by just clicking that like button. Thank you so much for that. In other news, I will see you all in the next lesson. Have a great day, guys. See you later.